The qualities of a good research. Any research to be considered as good research should have certain features or characteristics. Of course, a research is uh, a scientific study, right? But to achieve its highest point of uh, uh, credibility, right, at the level of its uh, process of research, its methodology, and also at the level of its findings, it should be characterized by certain features, which are to be systematic, to be logical, to be empirical, and to be replicable, and also, last but not least, to be organized. Organized. In most definitions of research, we'll find these key terms, right, uh, mentioned by different uh, scholars and educators. Let's try to uh, identify each of them and how the research should be characterized with them. Now, first one, good research is systematic. Systematic, it means what? Here it is structured with specified steps. Huh? It consists of a certain interrelated series of steps that take a specified sequence in accordance with the well-defined rules and objectives. Things here are interrelated in the form of a series of steps which are interrelated. One leads to the other. Right. So, it's not against creative thinking here, the notion of systematic. But it should be, we can say, uh, uh, constituted of a related uh, uh, sequence or stream of steps and stages to achieve credible results. Also, this notion of uh, being systematic rejects uh, the use of guessing and intuition, right, and arbitrariness to reach conclusions. It means things should be, you can say, planned, right, uh, systematically, methodically, right, uh, in advance, right, uh, and organized in, uh, if you can say, a sequence of steps and the stages that serve the research from its beginning, first step, through the course of its body or its journey till we reach our final findings, last step, right, when we come up with our conclusions. Good. Second feature is good research is logical. Logical. It means here the research should be guided by the rules of logical reasoning. Huh? Should be based and conducted with rules of logical reasoning and logical processes huh? that should be adopted when the researcher is conducting his study. Right, for example, he can use or he is supposed or required to use those logical reasoning uh, operations like induction, deduction, contrasting, comparing, right, uh, generalization, right. So it depends on the type of research and the phenomenon which is under study, right. Here by induction you mean what? The process of reasoning from part to the whole. Induction means to generalize your decision from a part to the whole. Deduction is the opposite, is the process of reasoning from some premise to conclusion, right? You, uh, if you can say, apply uh, the uh, result of general study to uh, one of its uh, parts, okay? Huh? Its parts. Plus also comparing and contrasting and uh, any, uh, all the other also reasoning operations that are methodical, scientific, uh, and that serve the course of the research journey. Right, research journey. 
Now the code makes the search more meaningful huh? in the context of decision making. Decision making. Right. It means it guarantees more and better uh, credible findings and results. Third, good research is empirical. Empirical here uh, we uh, refer to uh, that the research should relate to aspects of real situations. Huh? What is real situations or practical, measurable, and so on. So it deals with the concrete data, what is measurable, what is uh, observable, and uh, it deals also with facts, right? What's concrete, empirical, uh, and why not quantifiable for sound decisions? All right, for sound decisions, of course, always depending on the nature of the phenomenon we are studying, right, or the issue we are uh, investigating. We are investigating. There must be something concrete in its course, in its body, its, uh, I don't know, uh, in this study, right, observable and measurable. Fourth, good research is replicable. Replicable here, when uh, the research results can be verified by replicating, uh, copying, the study and building sound basis for decisions. All right, it means you investigate uh, the same phenomenon, uh, using other methodologies, right, and you find rich similar results. Here, the research is good and is credible, and you can depend on it to conduct further research, clear, on other also criterion, or on other uh, phenomenon, or on other also uh, issues or problems. Last but not least, research should be organized. Organized, it means should follow certain uh, order of uh, steps and stages where each one leads to the other and serves the other also clear uh, without any notion of randomness right or arbitrariness clear uh, things here should be planned in advance right should be the steps to be respected it's a process of research we have to consider it's the order of these steps right uh, usually it's not linear, huh? it is usually sequential, depending of course always on the phenomenon we are studying. Clear. So these are generally the features which make research good, sound and credible. Research as a process, as you know, research is not uh, a single, if you can say, uh, stage one can stand on to reach his own conclusions. No, it is a journey. It is a process. Right. So, when we say a process here, we mean that it consists of a series of steps, operations, and actions that occur in sequence. Right. Which allow the researcher to reach his objectives. Of course, these steps are not separate but they are interrelated, clear. They are interrelated. One leads to the other. One leads to the other, right. They don't also necessarily, uh, these steps have linear sequence, right. They have also, or they can have also uh, sequential or cyclical uh, uh, sequence of uh, development within the course of, of research. Because the researcher here uh, has to anticipate constantly the requirements of the subsequent steps. However, right, this nature of research to be a process or this uh, quality of it to be a process, to be a journey, uh, uh, repudiates and rejects the notion of improvisation, notion of randomness, notion of uh, guessing, right, uh, the notion also of, uh, I don't know, uh, hasty, right, planned steps. Things are scientific, all right, pros indicates that these steps are organized in a systematic, scientific, objective, 
methodical right uh, way or sequence methodical sequence right which uh, creates that kind of harmony among all these steps from the beginning till uh, the researcher achieves or achieves his own conclusions and which is own uh, findings right to uh, consider if you can say that uh, no step is separate from the other steps they all uh, complement one another lead to one another right uh, and so on and so forth uh, here we can introduce here uh, a common if you can say research process with all uh, the commonest steps that may exist uh, at the level of uh, model common research right with its procedural guideline uh, example uh, the process may begin with uh, formulating the research problem usually we uh, first uh, localize or formulate our problem of uh, the research then move to the step of extensive literature survey write or review then we develop the hypothesis then we prepare the research design or outline clear and then determine the sample design then uh, the step of data collection right then execution of the project uh, and then analysis of the data after that we uh, move on to the hypothesis testing then generalizations and interpretation all right of uh, what we have analyzed or findings clear and at the end uh, the presentation of the final results and findings so this is you can say a common uh, model of research process since its beginning till the end of course this process differs in regard to the field we are investigating uh, our or, or conducting our research in humanities social sciences uh, uh, natural sciences it depends here All right but usually this is the common uh, uh, steps of uh, research process now here we have two key terms which are research methodology and research methods are they similar or different and how now when we say research methods here we refer to mainly those specific techniques or methods huh? tools of uh, which are implemented in research huh? and which are used for mainly conducting research methods techniques uh, the researcher uses in performing for example research operations including data collection uh, methods statistical uh, techniques sampling methods uh, and accuracy evaluation methods clear so these are you can say specific uh, uh, techniques which are used by the researcher and we refer to them by uh, research methods whereas the research methodology he refers to the science of studying it's a uh, field of knowledge research methodology is if you can say a science uh, discipline scientific speciality uh, it is the science of studying or scientific study of uh, how research uh, is conducted and is done scientifically it concerns the study of the various steps uh, that are generally adopted by a researcher in studying his research problem uh, or phenomenon with the logic behind them so when we say research methods here we mean the techniques we apply to conduct certain operations within a research when we say research methodology we mean the science right which governs how a research should be organized should be conducted should be uh, uh, I don't know uh, fulfilled uh, from the first step to the last one in a methodical scientific and objective way thank you so much